Back in 1965, a movie showcasing a crucial World War II battle captured the attention of audiences worldwide. This film, Battle of the Bulge, throws you into the intense clash between Allied and Axis forces in the harsh winter of 1944-1945. Get ready for a roller coaster of feelings as you delve into this historical epic. There are plenty of surprising, funny, and heart-wrenching moments waiting to unfold. So fasten your seatbelt and keep your eyes open for those unexpected twists. Now, let's hear from you. When did you first see this movie? Whether it was in a packed theater or snug on the couch at home, the memories of this classic war film probably linger with you. Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation. In the mid-1960s, a certain film captured the hearts and minds of audiences worldwide. Its portrayal of a pivotal World War II battle stirred conversations and shed light on the sacrifices made during that time. This movie, with its gripping storyline and memorable characters, sparked a fascination that transcended the screen. Fans eagerly sought out merchandise related to the story, turning posters and action figures into prized possessions. But it didn't stop there. The success of this film paved the way for adaptations in various forms of media, ensuring that its narrative continued to captivate new generations. The enduring popularity of these adaptations speaks to the lasting impact of this cinematic gem. Overall, it's clear that this film not only left its mark on the cultural landscape, but also carved out a significant place in the hearts of its audience. In the 1965 movie Battle of the Bulge, Charles Bronson, known for his roles in various films, considered West Windsor VT his home for over three decades. After his passing, he was laid to rest in the Brownsville Cemetery, close to M.T. Escutney. Telly Savalas, another prominent figure in the movie, portrayed a character on Kojak that reflected his own Greek-American heritage. Charles Bronson was also under consideration for roles played by Gene Hackman in several notable films. These connections add layers to the actors' careers and contributions to cinema. In the 1965 movie Battle of the Bulge, several notable individuals contributed to its production. James MacArthur and his first wife Joyce Bulefant attended the same high school, Solbury School, graduating in 1955. Henry Fonda, acclaimed for his acting prowess, was recognized as the 10th greatest movie star of all time by Premiere Magazine. Telly Savalas, known for his role in the film, lived with Sally Sheridan from 1969 to 1978. Nicolette Sheridan, Sally's daughter from a previous relationship, regarded Savalas as her father figure. These personal connections add depth to the context of the movie and shed light on the lives of those involved in its creation. In the movie Battle of the Bulge, Ty Harden, who starred in the film, had a notable connection to the world of beauty pageants as his third wife, Marlene Schmidt, held the title of Miss Universe in 1961. Additionally, Henry Fonda, another actor in the movie, was recognized as the sixth greatest actor on the 50 greatest screen legends list by the American Film Institute. Fonda's life outside of acting included achieving the rank of Life Scout during his youth and later becoming a Scoutmaster as an adult. These details offer intriguing insights into the lives of the actors involved in the film. In 1965, a movie was released featuring notable actors such as Henry Fonda and Robert Shaw. Fonda was part of a group called the University Players, which included other future stars like James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan. He played the role of U.S. President twice in his career, notably in Failsafe and Meteor, and portrayed the son of a president in The Longest Day. Meanwhile, Shaw transitioned from TV to the London Old Vic Company, performing in Shakespearean plays before joining the Shakespeare Memorial Theatre in England. These actors brought their experience and talent to the screen, adding depth to the portrayal of historical events in the film. Robert Shaw, known for his distinctive gait due to a back injury, starred in the movie. Telly Savalas, whose son's half-sister and former co-star later appeared in a popular soap opera, was also part of the cast. Additionally, Robert Ryan, who portrayed a terminally ill character in another film, tragically passed away shortly after filming. His wife had also succumbed to cancer the year before. The 1965 movie Battle of the Bulge features a cast with interesting anecdotes. William Conrad, known for his role in the film, owned a valuable prop from another movie, The Maltese Falcon. The prop, a lead falcon gifted to him by a studio chief, fetched a record price at auction after his death. Robert Ryan, another actor in the film, attended the 1968 Democratic National Convention in Chicago as a McCarthy delegate. He managed to secure a floor pass for his son Cheney, who was an anti-war activist, thanks to his friendship with Joan Crawford. Charles Bronson, also part of the cast, 
missed out on a role in Die Hard due to contractual obligations with the Canon Group. Despite these interesting off-screen stories, the movie itself remains a notable part of cinematic history. Amid the making of the movie, interesting stories surround its cast members. Henry Fonda, an important part of the film, reportedly had a close friendship with Lucille Ball while filming Yours, Mine, and Ours in 1968. Fonda's daughter Jane Fonda mentioned in an interview that her father had strong feelings for Lucille Ball during that time. Another actor from the movie, Telly Savalas, showed he was more than just an actor. In 1975, he had a spoken word version of Bread's song, If That Stayed at the Top of European Charts for 10 Weeks. Also, Savalas surprised people with his singing talent when his version of Don Williams's Some Broken Hearts Never Men became number one in 1980. Robert Ryan, also part of the movie, had a change in his role. Initially set to play Commodore Matt Decker in The Doomsday Machine, he had to give up the role, allowing William Wyndham to take over. The character was originally supposed to be like Captain Ahab, seeking revenge for his crew's loss. However, Wyndham portrayed Decker in a more sorrowful and sensitive way. These stories about Henry Fonda, Telly Savalas, and Robert Ryan show how interesting the lives and talents of the actors were during the movie's production. In Colonel Hessler's quarters, there's a red banner with the words feigned Hortmit meaning the enemy is listening. It's a small but poignant detail, reflecting the constant awareness and vigilance of those involved in the conflict. Telly Savalas, a distinguished actor known for his role in the film, honored his family lineage by naming his son Nick Savalas after his father. Interestingly, to maintain authenticity, the filmmakers went to great lengths to ensure that most of the German characters were portrayed by native German actors. However, exceptions were made for Robert Shaw, Ty Harden, and Barbara Wuerl, who brought their own unique talents to the roles they portrayed. This meticulous attention to casting contributes significantly to the film's realism, effectively capturing the essence of the historical event. By employing actors who could naturally embody the characters they portrayed, the filmmakers created a more immersive experience for the audience. Watching the movie, one can truly feel transported back to the intense atmosphere of the Battle of the Bulge, where every detail down to the casting choices plays a crucial role in conveying the authenticity of the era. In summary, the combination of accurate historical representation and skilled performances elevates the film, making it a compelling portrayal of a significant World War II battle. The attention to detail, from the Red Banner in Colonel Hessler's quarters to the diverse casting choices, serves to immerse viewers in the story and its setting providing a genuine and memorable cinematic experience.